Hello, um, good morning, welcome to toddler time. We had a really good idea uh, this morning. I tried to be clever and I tried to get Claire to join us, but unfortunately the programme wouldn't work. My internet didn't like it. So unfortunately, once again, it's just me and good old Father Ted. Now, I don't know if you remember, but yesterday, Father Ted wasn't particularly um, in, the, in the zone, was he? Father Ted wasn't really uh, willing to play. But I'm hoping that today, uh, Father Ted, bless him, will, be, will get involved a bit more. So if you're there at home, um, little people, grab your grown up. You might want to grab some instruments. Father Ted made sure that he's got his trusty tambourine and he's got his trumpet as well. And like yesterday, we're going to have a go at um, uh, telling, we're going to have a story time, we're going to sing some songs. And if you've got a favourite song that you like to sing, put it in the comments um, and I will grab the mouse so that I can stay up to date um, with who, uh, what people want. So hi Katrina, Naomi, Katie, Zoe, Heather, Emily, good to see you, thanks for joining us. And the little people that are hopefully no doubt with you. So if you want to grab um, an instrument, get ready to kind of boogie on and we're going to be thinking today about Daniel in the lion's den. So we're going to tell a little story of how God kept Daniel safe. So before we do that, we're going to sing a couple of songs. If you've got a favourite song that you'd like to sing, please comment it and we'll have a go at singing it, um, even though we haven't practiced, but what could go wrong? So the first thing we're going to do is jig jog. That's a good favourite that we like at All Saints Toddler Group. So if you want to get, to get on the lap of your grown up, and we're going to have a Jig Jog, this is for Claire. I know Claire was, we were a minute ago, me and Claire were on the same screen and it was working fine. And then I tried to be clever and it didn't work. Um, so I'll have to look into that this afternoon. So we'll sing Jig Jog a couple of times. I want someone to buy me a pony. Jig Jog, Jig Jog, Jig Jog, Jig. Not too fast and not too slowly. Jig Jog, Jig Jog, Jig Jog, Jig. All I want to do is ride all around the countryside with a jig jog, 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 jig jog. I think we do that one again. It is a firm favourite. I want someone to buy me a pony. Jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig. Not too fast and not too slowly. Jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig. All I want to do is ride all around the countryside with a jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig jog, jig. And row, row, row your boat was the one that I was trying to remember yesterday, and I couldn't quite get there. So we'll have a go at row, row, row your boat. So little people, if you want to get on your grown ups lap or sit on the floor and get ready to do a few verses of row, row, row your boat. And we'll probably get scared of a polar bear and go over a waterfall and all things like that. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And should we go down the river and uh, polar bear and don't forget to shiver. Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. And there's another one, isn't there, about a lion? If you row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Row, row, row your boat merrily to and fro. I don't know, I'll just make it up, but you probably know it at home. Or someone might have told me on the comments, the, the lion one. Oh no, no one's helping me. No, people are just laughing at me, that's okay. Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. Rawr! That wasn't a very loud roar. You need to be louder than that. Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. I think I need to have words with Father Ted because he's very good at roaring as he's a bear, but he's not doing much, is he? No, that is a shame. Let's do one more song. Shall we do um, Grand Old Duke of York going up and down and then we'll have our story. 
old man Dolce Rodeo, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they're only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither. Yeah, it is a bit sad that row, row, row your boat had a lion in and it didn't have a bear. And the next story has got lions in and hasn't got a bear. Is that why you're sad? Well, maybe next week we'll have to think of a Bible story with a bear in. I can't think of many. I can think of one or two, um, but we'll have to think if we can see some. So we're going to have a story all about a guy called Daniel who ended up inside a lion's den. Ooh, not a place you'd want to go to sleep, is it? And as always, we've got some good pictures for you to look at. So Daniel lived in Israel a long time ago. But when he was a lad, he was captured by his foe. That's a word for people that didn't like him very much. They took him off to a place called Babylon. They made him serve the king. But Daniel prayed and he lived for God in spite of everything. The king looked around for someone wise and good, someone he could trust to do the things he should. The king picked Daniel, but it made the others mad. So they figured out a plan to make Daniel look bad. He doesn't look very happy, does he? No. I think he's jealous of Daniel and the king liking him. Whoops. There we go. We'll get there. There's a picture of Daniel praying. These men came before the king. They said, you're so great. Can we suggest a simple rule that you can legislate? That means that you can make real. For 30 days and 30 nights to the king alone will pray and the lion's den will be the fate of anyone who disobeys. But Daniel went into his room and kneeling down to pray, he thanked the Lord. He asked for help like every other day. So Daniel didn't listen to the rules. Daniel still only prayed to God. He didn't pray to the king. There he is praying. And look, can you see the people in the background sneaking up and looking through the curtain? They're not very happy that Daniel's praying. <gasps> wow, that's a big line. Look at those big, sharp teeth. Wow. So the, man, the men that saw Daniel pray rushed to tell the king that Daniel disobeyed. The king was sad, but he couldn't change the rule that he had made. And so the men took Daniel. They brought him to the den. They threw him to the lions. Oh, what would he do then? <sighs> now, I don't know what you think the lions would do, but he looks quite hungry. And he's got big, sharp teeth. And Daniel looks quite tasty to that lion. Oh, but what do you know? The king was so unhappy that he couldn't sleep that night. And when morning came, he quickly ran and he cried, are you all right? Daniel answered, yes, O king. They didn't get a bite. For God sent his angel to shut their mouths up tight. What a lovely story of God keeping Daniel safe in the lion's den. So there we have a guy called Daniel who, even though it was the law not to pray to God, Daniel knew that that was wrong. And so Daniel kept praying to God and God kept him safe. And I don't know about you, but we might be a bit worried today. Um, that like Daniel, we might feel that we're a bit scared sometimes, um, but we can pray that God will keep us safe. There aren't probably any lines that want to gobble us up, but there are other things we might be worried about. But the good news is that Jesus loves us and Jesus gives us peace. So we're going to sing a song about that. It's the same tune as the one yesterday. Um, it's the, yeah, the same tune, but the words are slightly different. And then we're going to sing Hickory Dickory Dock. That's all that Heather's requested. And Liz Nash has pointed out that Goliath was a bit like a bear. That's true. He was quite big and probably quite hairy as well and scary. So we're going to sing a song that, about God being faithful. 
Um, and it's yesterday we did that Noah built the most enormous boat. And today we're going to be that Daniel was inside the lion's den, but God brought him to safety once again. So we'll sing that twice, the same song as yesterday, same tune, and then we'll sing uh, Hickory Dickory Dock. Daniel was inside the lion's den, but God brought him to safety once again. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and Daniel lived his life for him. Daniel was inside the lion's den, God brought him to safety once again. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and Daniel lived his life for him. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you. All through history, you are faithful. Thank you, oh, thank you. You are just the same when it comes to me. When it comes to me, thank you, oh, thank you. That all through history, you are faithful. Thank you, oh, thank you. That you are just the same when it comes to me. When it comes to me. You know, let's say a prayer before we sing Hickory Dickory Dock. We'll say a prayer. So thank you, God, that you love us. Thank you that in the same way you kept Daniel safe when he was scared, that you help keep us safe and that you give us peace. So if we're scared of anything, if we might be feeling worried or upset, we pray that you would come into our hearts and make us happy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's go for Hickory Dickory Dock. And we've probably got enough time for one more if you want to uh, suggest your favourite song. If not, we'll just do this one and then finish with, with it. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, dong. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. One actually that I was asking you yesterday that, that we didn't get managed, we managed to do was. Um, when all the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed. So we'll do that one. Oh, and our God is a great big God. That is a good one. Okay. So we'll do when all the, when all the cows are sleeping and the up jumps the scarecrow. When all the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed. Up jumps the scarecrow and this is what he said I am a jingle jangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat I can shake my hands like this, I can shake my feet like that Do it again? Yeah! Get ready to have your floppy hands like a scarecrow and your floppy feet When all the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed. Up jumps the scarecrow, and this is what he said. I am a jingle jangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. You're being very quiet, Father Ted, aren't you? Very quiet. Should you do our God is a great big God? Is that one of your favourites? The guy, he's got his tambourine ready. You can't see it, which is a shame. And he's got his trumpet as well, look. If you've got one of these little people, you might want to get it for the next song. Play it as loud as you can so all the neighbours can join in the fun and laughter that we're having. They'll really appreciate it because they might be a bit bored. So get your noisiest instrument out. And we'll do our God as a great big God. He's higher than a skyscraper. And he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. Let's try that one, shall we? Our God is a great big God. 
Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper, and He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And He holds us in His hand. He's higher than a skyscraper. And He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe. And beyond my wildest dream. And He's told me and He's loved me. Since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of. God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And He holds us in His hand. And He holds us in His hand. And He holds us in His hand. Good, good singing, great actions. That was fab. Um, I think, I think, fa yes, Emily, great idea. I think Father Ted would really enjoy a teddy bear's picnic. Um, I don't know the words for that very well, so we might have to have a little practice. That would be good. And we'd get a little picnic blanket out and some sandwiches. What do you reckon, Mr. Bear? He's even got his dog collar on, look underneath. Good lad, good lad, good. Respect the robes, right. Been good fun. Um, we'll be doing this every Wednesday and Thursday at 10.30 on the All Saints Babies and Toddlers page. If you're fancy joining us on Sunday morning on our main Facebook page, we'll be live streaming um, our morning service with lots of different people chipping in. We'll have songs, we'll have acti activities for the children for them to join in as well. So we'd love to see you then. Um, if not, we'll see you hopefully on Wednesday morning. Catch you later. Bye.